Hey, Farmington Fifth Ward, another week down. Happy uh, 4th of July. Now that it's the 5th of July, but I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July weekend uh, and enjoyed time with friends and family celebrating this great country in which we live. Um, we, uh, we had a great time in our house, just enjoyed time together as family, had a, had a wiffle ball game, so that was exciting, summertime fun. So anyway, hope you all are uh, doing well. Wanted to bring you up to speed a little bit on what we're doing in the Farmington Fifth Ward as far as uh, preparation for getting back to church. We had a bishopric meeting this morning and are discussing logistics and planning and, and getting uh, names put together to figure out how we're going to have everybody back in the church building. But as of right now, uh, our goal is still shooting for the 19th of July to get uh, back in church. Uh, it will be done, obviously, in phases. We can only have 50 people in the building, um, so we'll have to do it in, in small groups uh, to, to make sure everybody gets an opportunity that wants to to be there. During this transition period, families are still authorized to have the sacrament in their home for those weeks, either that they're not coming to the actual church facility, or if they don't feel comfortable returning to church at this time, you can still do it in your home, and that's totally fine. If you haven't been contacted by the Elders Quorum or Relief Society Presidency, uh, please feel free to reach out to them or to a member of the bishopric so we can make sure that we have uh, your family in the right groups and, and know when and if you're ready to be coming back to church. So as we continue to compile those groups, uh, we'll continue to reach out and find out who's ready uh, if you haven't been contacted already. So um, the governor's office will probably be making an announcement later this week that may or may not affect uh, what we're doing as far as headcount. We recognize that that's a real possibility uh, and that's okay. We're gonna continue to plan and move according to uh, the direction that we've been given. If that gets delayed, that's okay. We still have to have a plan. So we're gonna continue to try to formulate a plan for getting back to church and hopefully be able to be back very, very soon. Hopefully you guys are all doing well uh, and had a, a good week. One of the things uh, that we discussed as a family, we talked a lot about missionary work and, and Come Follow Me it focused a lot on uh, the Sons of Mosiah and Alma and, and the missionary work that they're doing. But also it talked a lot about um, the attitude and the what it means to have joy and to be joyful. And I thought that was really important, uh, especially right now as there are many influ outside influences and things that are going on that may uh, be affecting us or may make things uh, difficult uh, for each of us in our individual circumstances. And when we look at the people of Anti-Nephi-Lehi that found joy and happiness in Jesus Christ and in the gospel and found fulfillment in what they were learning and doing and the way that they were living, um, it really spoke to me on how I need to find ways to have joy and recognize the many blessings that I have and, uh, and to be happy at this time, even when we're dealing with some very difficult um, and otherwise uncomfortable situations. So that is something that I found meaningful. Uh, hopefully uh, you all uh, found this week's course of study as fulfilling as I did. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you know that uh, as a bishopric and as a ward council, we're praying for you all uh, and, and hope that you're doing well. We're very much concerned about you and, and uh, have a strong desire to serve and to help in any way that we can and to further the great work of our Savior, Jesus Christ. I love you all and uh, look forward to being with you soon, soon. We're getting close. So uh, if you have any questions or concerns or, or, or questions about how uh, this is all going to shake out, uh, please feel free to contact me. And like I say, we'll be getting more information out to you as soon as we possibly can. But until next time, hope you're well. Hope you're doing well. Uh, give, uh, give a big hug to your loved ones and those around you. Stay safe and we'll talk soon. Have a great one.